Good morning. My name is Ulrike Diebold and I'm here at the Technical University in Vienna, Austria, the home university of Peter Wager. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of ALC for giving me this opportunity to contribute to the Peter Wager Memorial Session. It is very unfortunate that I could not come to Kyoto myself and I'm eternally grateful that they can contribute at least a little bit in this way. Peter Wager was my teacher and PhD advisor, and later I took over his group and became his successor here in Vienna. He had an enormous influence on my professional life and also on my personal life. And I'm not only speaking for myself, but for his many students and postdocs. We all remember him with great affection and we really miss him. I think it is very befitting that I can send this video message from Vienna, Peter's hometown. Vienna is known for its great physicists, Mach, Boltzmann, Schrödinger. It is known for psychology, Sigmund Freud. And of course, Vienna is known for classical music and for elegant life. And Peter was a true son of Vienna. He was an excellent scientist. He also was a real expert in knowing and understanding the human psyche. Probably, he is the scientist with the highest psychological intelligence I ever came to know. And he was a man of great elegance, who knew how to live, and who saw the human side and all the people he interacted with. Peter Wagner has left a great legacy here in Vienna and throughout the world. He was proud of the fact that he was the first person at TOV who did real surface science. This is his first UHV machine, originally designed for angle resolved ISS, later used for lead IV and smoke. As you can see, stainless steel lives on. Most importantly, this chamber is still used every day in an ongoing project together with the University of Technology in Brno, his second workplace after his retirement. The chamber just received a new home in another lab this week and will be taken in operation by a student from Brno who will use it for his master's thesis. In the 1990s, Peter Wagas group became famous because of this machine a room temperature UHV STM. To this day, it works beautifully and reliably gives atomically resolved images from closed packed metal surfaces. At the time when the machine was built, obtaining such results was far from trivial. And the excellent science done here attracted many visitors, co-workers and guest scientists from throughout the world. As I get older myself, I often think of Peter and of what's left after we die. In some sense, we are lucky that we are professors and teachers because our memory will live on in our students. And it is up to us if this memory is a good one or not so good one. No doubt, it is a very good one for Peter Wagner. Peter led countless students through their PhD and master thesis. Many of us are very successful in academia, in industry and in government. We learned from him how to do excellent science. We also learned from him his way of looking inside people and understanding people's motives, sometimes even better than they understand it themselves. As Peter often said, I can understand everything, but that does not mean that I approve of it. He never approved of showmanship and of hollow pride, and especially not of putting down other people, not unless they deserved it, of course. Peter was not shy of saying things the way they were, sometimes with brutal honesty. Even if it hurt to hear the truth, he was always right. And because of his honesty, 
was liked by most people and he was respected by all. The excellent science in Peter's group and the great human being he was as a person attracted also scientists from far away who spent their formative years as postdocs in his group. For example, Edwin Lundgren, who went on to carve out his own great career in Sweden, and of course, Junji Yohara, now at Nagoya. Peter left a lasting imprint here in Vienna and throughout the world. We are very sad that he left us prematurely a year ago, but in our memory, he lives on. Thank you.